Welcome back rocket science fans, this is Mr. Michael. Today we're going to be talking about uh, pulley belts and pulley wheels. Uh, we talked about how the same size pulley wheel works with the same size, uh, how it goes around the same speed, same direction. And this time we're actually talking about how to change direction. So this one's a little tough. When gears are working together, in our previous videos we talked about gears, when gears are working together they're actually meshing and making them go opposite directions. In pulley wheels, it actually wraps around as a belt, so it goes around the same direction. So to make this go opposite, we're actually going to have to twist the belt. This was a little tough sometimes because it's hard to control the belts. So this is what I usually do. I pinch the belt as much as possible. When I remove it, I usually try to do it on the one that's not on the top, and I put one in and slide it in this way. This one's a little tight, so we let it go, let it go slowly, and give it a couple of rotations. Okay, so I've been showing directions on how many rotations this is going around. Since these are the same size pulley wheels, this is going to go around basically the same direction, but again, the pulley belt has drag. There's even, one, there's even more drag. I'm going to turn this sideways on the video. Hopefully you can see these belts are actually connecting. They're actually rubbing in the side, so there's going to be even more friction on the base part. This can go for a while, not at high speed. So let's give it a show so you can see how it's actually going around. It's actually doing pretty accurate. I have this one going down, this one was going up earlier. So it's, I'm gonna turn around by four or five directions and when I go down, this one is probably gonna end up slacking back to about that direction. So let's go around about four or five times and let's see how I go down. It's actually slowed all the way down to where it's uh, going down another angle. So that's enough drag to show you. Why would you use this in a machine? Well, it's for a short-term uh, fix. If I need my machine to actually reverse and I can't get inside of it to reverse it, I can actually twist my belt one time and run it the same direction one way, maybe unclog something like a ride is jammed inside or a train is jammed or a windmill or something maybe using a belt inside and I can't really get inside of it. This could actually unhook something. So let's give you an example. Get this back around the same. So my ride is going around and I hit a jam inside. Well if this were a motor, this motor would still be spinning. So I would need to stop it because it's going to burn my belt out. So I need to actually bag this up so I can get in to fix it. So in that instance I could actually reverse, take some of the friction off, go back around, loosen that up and it allow me to get inside or to relieve the pressure that's going on inside of that machine. So that's why I would use the, op the twisting effect of the pulley belt to uh, do an opposite direction. Plus it actually looks really cool uh, doing it. Again, you shouldn't run this at a high speed because the belts are actually going against each other. They will warm up and they will break after a certain point. Um, so let me actually show you something that doesn't work as successful. I'm actually going to slow down the pulley belts and use a smaller pulley wheel. So I'm going to get here, I'm going to take our small half bushing. Oops, can you see that? Okay, there we go. Show our half bushing here and I'm going to twist the belt or at least attempt to twist the belt on this one. You do want to keep your pulley belt at a good enough distance so there's not too much slack and here is our twisting effect here on our pulley belt and when I turn this it goes okay. You can see it's actually working pretty good. Going opposite direction actually works pretty good. We start getting some more challenges when you have smaller pulley wheels turning on the smaller pulley wheels. And they get really discombobulated and it starts knocking them off and out of their groove. Uh, something else to consider as well, you don't want to double twist a pulley belt because that just gets it, oops, let's see if we can do this. <laughs> One more try. This actually gets it into a really, you can see the belt struggling. If you get a really high speed, it'll actually tangle up your belt. You guys see that really, really bad in there and it's really stretching out your belt. So just wanted to show you a couple of options if you want to experiment and you have a lot of these, 
uh, I would say sure experiment, but other than that, you don't want to tear up the one or two belts you may have. These are kind of rare in a lot of sets. So thank you for watching how to turn your uh, pulley belts opposite and go opposite directions. Please look at our other videos to show you how the pulley belt uh, principles work and gears and other principles as well. Thank you for watching.